BPS, or the Broadcast Positioning System, is probably the coolest thing I've seen on the whole show floor at NAB 2025 this year, but nobody knows about it. And if you want proof of that, look behind me. There's nobody at this cool demo. Probably the coolest thing I've seen in this entire show floor. Inside here, there's an oscilloscope that costs more than my car, along with some other equipment that probably also costs more than my car, but this oscilloscope is showing a couple things. I'll show you on the TV in a second. But first of all, there's a U-Blox receiver. This is a GPS receiver that has an antenna on the roof way on the other side of this huge west hall. And then there's also another signal. The other signal, if you look closely at this chart, is an ATSC-3 TV signal. So it's coming from a TV transmitter tower on Black Mountain, which is a few miles from here. That signal is as accurate as GPS, at least within a few nanoseconds, which means we can get timing signals, you can get position data, this is all happening over broadcast TV. This oscilloscope display is showing the timing difference between the BPS signal from KSNV and the GPS signal from the satellites. And they're within nanoseconds, within tens of nanoseconds. And these are compared to the GPS signal. So the GPS signal is not 100% perfect either. So really within you know, maybe 10 nanoseconds of the actual UTC timestamp that's coming from the US Naval Observatory. I'm going to be covering BPS a lot more in depth later when I actually know more about it, but I've been talking to some different people involved in its rollout, both from the uh, TV side, from the NIST, uh, Jeff Sherman, and some other people have been studying BPS as an alternative to GPS or a supplemental service, because a lot of people that deploy things that rely on precise timing, like the power grid or transport, communications, 5G, all those things, if you get jammed or if you lose the GPS signal, which can happen, uh, there can be big problems, and we need a, a good alternative source of time. And uh, BPS can be that. It's not yet. It's only on five transmitter towers right now. I think six maybe, but one of them's offline right now. And uh, we actually have some ATSC3 towers in St. Louis where I live, but they aren't broadcasting the signal. Otherwise, I would be playing with it already. The other cool thing that I found out at this booth is a technology called ELORAN. It's actually a little bit older. It's been around for a while. But the idea is that you could broadcast timing signals for very long distances using LoRaN, and uh, it would give you precise timing that you could use outside of GPS entirely. So this setup here is using eLoRaN to get a timing signal from, I think, Utah. And then that timing signal is broadcast over the TV tower. So that whole chain is as accurate, pretty much, as GPS. It's not as accurate if you have the best GPS reception with two bands and all that, but I do have a couple concerns. There's actually a patent on BPS. I don't know how much that would be enforced in terms of re-implementing it with different receivers and things. That's something that I'm always concerned about as an open source advocate. Uh, but there's, there's also the ATSC3 signal, which if I walk around on the show floor here, there's some places that are like, oh, you can do ad insertion. You can have DRM on your over-the-air TV broadcast. And I don't know how much I like those things. Uh, but using this technology, if you can use BPS without having all that other junk, that would be really cool because you could have a complete GPS backup that's completely disconnected from the satellites and from those frequencies that can be jammed. And it would give us more resilience and better timing signals. And for me, one cool thing was I could get it indoors, which is very hard to do with GPS. Usually you have to mount an antenna up on the roof somewhere. If you're even a quarter as interested in all this timing stuff as I am, make sure you're subscribed to my main Jeff Gearling channel because I'm doing a whole series on time this year. I'm gonna cover GPS, BPS, WWV, PTP, PPS, all these different things, even clocks and oscillators and stuff. So. It's, uh, it's quite a rabbit hole. In fact, it's so far down that there's a white rabbit somewhere down in there that I'm going to talk about too. So if you love this timing stuff, please subscribe. I might cover some more things quickly on this channel, but uh, the main stuff will be over on the Jeff Gearling channel. And one quick thing is I'd like to thank uh, Mindberg, a timing company, for paying for my dad and I to come here to NAB this year funding our trip here. So thanks to them. This is not a sponsored video or anything. This is just something that I found out about day one of NAB. And I'm like, okay, this is really cool. And I need to learn more about it. And maybe now you want to too. Anyway, see you later.